No, I think the written word is perfectly sufficient. You know, it worked for Kafka, and um, if it doesn't work for me, it's only because I'm not good enough with the written word. Um, I included images in Extremely Loud and Incredibly Close because I thought that they were appropriate for that book. Um, I wanted to capture the exuberance of this young boy, sort of his maximal imagination, also his imagination's um, desire or need to grasp at lots and lots of things. Um, September 11th was, was the most visual event probably in human history. It was witnessed by more people than anything else ever was or has been. And um, I thought that there was a, 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 a visual component to, the, to that event that couldn't be separated from it. You know, when we think about September 11th, we think about the two towers, the, the sight of them. We think about the plane going into them, the sight of that. So um, I thought images were appropriate for that book. I don't think that they are necessary or appropriate for um, every book or most books. Of course it will change, and anybody who thinks it won't is, is um, not thinking it through enough. You know, the New York Times is now on the iPad, right? If the New York Times um, didn't have video embedded in it, if you couldn't link from one article to another, if you couldn't search back issues of the Times, if they had a piece about this unbelievable shot that, you know, Rafael Nadal hit, and they didn't have a clip of it, we would say that it was being negligent. You know, not only that it wasn't taking advantage of the vehicle, but that it wasn't providing us with the news that it could and should. And so there's going to be a real pressure on novels when they start to be read on screens, which seems like an inevitability, to interact with the vehicle. Um, I don't know what that will mean. I, I certainly don't know that that's a good thing at all. Um, there are a lot of reasons to think it's, it's a bad thing. But it seems like an inevitability. And um, literature has always been slow slower than the other art forms to grapple with um, technological changes, cultural changes even. You know, when you look at um, a book like uh, Freedom, Jonathan Franzen's most recent book, there are many, many ways in which it could resemble the Odyssey, you know, or Shakespeare. And I think that's one of the things that people love so much about it and should love so much about it. But if you look at artists who are now contemporary artists who are at the, the sort of peak of their game or the forefront of their forms, um, what they have in common with artists working a hundred years ago, much less a couple thousand years ago, is almost nothing. You know, music has changed so much in the last 50 years, and the visual arts are barely even recognizable as art anymore. So maybe it's been the saving grace of literature to be so conservative, but maybe it, it will um, contribute to its death. I don't know. Mm -hmm.